What's up? This is Tony. Hey, I'm just showing a little bit of mulching on a wet, messy day. Um, I'm about, uh, this video starts about halfway down the driveway, so I mean, she just got thousands of bushes, and she's one of these ladies where she just kept planting and planting and planting and planting, and uh, so, and I gotta, I gotta prune all that stuff too, all during the summer and everything. Um, and uh, so, <clears throat> but anyway, back to the subject, it's, it's raining, um, and so it's one of those lawn days okay. where it's, it's real, it's kind of tough doing these leaves. Um, I blew, the beds and everything were like six inches deep, um, up in the front, going down the driveway as you've seen first, uh, a lot of that's already blown out and I mulched it up a little bit and, um, so what I'm doing here on this property um, the leaves are falling so fast and everything is I'm mulching it up maybe the size of like a dime or something and then I'm blowing it back in. So I still got to blow some of that stuff you've seen at first. But anyway, it was like six inches deep everywhere. Um, I come here every other week just like I do in the regular lawn schedule. Um, I kind of just continue the same schedule through winter and everything. Uh, and so that's kind of, you know, that's that. I think... You guys just doing the one-time cleanups and stuff is awesome because you can get extra money and stuff. But where I am, we don't really have snow and stuff, so you kind of keep working on it, which is great. So we just kind of keep rolling on our schedule. Anyway, so it's a wet, messy day, so it's really tough. And this yard took me longer than it than it really should have, you know. But at least I was getting a couple done. And I still ended up getting a good many done that day, even though it was raining, because I got too much. I couldn't, if I, like, totally set out for a day, then um, there's no way I could get caught up, um, even though I work on Saturdays and stuff a lot. So, you know, so this is just showing you a little footage of having some fun on a rain day. And, uh, well, I guess if we want to call it fun, but... <laughs> Uh, you know, and then the next day, of course, it's stay, all the leaves and everything stay wet, which y'all know how that is because, um, you know, it's cold, so it doesn't really, like, dry up like it does, you know, and if it was summer or something that good. So, doing a lot of leaves right now. They're really heavy, which I'm sure they are a lot of you guys is, uh, where y'all are, too, and, uh, I'm using the 21, um, just because it was so soupy. And uh, it on a regular dry day, the 21 actually doesn't mulch that great, the commercial 21, because the blade speed is very s strong and high and stuff, so it kind of blows it away, blows it away before it kind of sucks up in there. I mean, it works okay, but the 30 inch is way better for mulching. Um, find that out. So um, anyway, this week also I had a, uh, you know, just a, quick recap I guess this week I had a, a tire go out on my 16 feet trailer and uh it's like a little piece of metal almost looked like a piece of coat hanger but maybe like twice as fat as that and it was just like stuck through on an angle through the side and through the thing of my tire and I don't know how I got it I must have picked it up in the road who knows you know I'm not really sure but you know, it's the first time I ever had a blowout on the trailer. I've had some leaky ones and stuff that had to get fixed. But, um, you know, so I was glad I had this other trailer because, you know, basically that tire is just done. And the good thing about the double axle trailer, that one axle, other axle can kind of hold it up so I could limp it down to the tire store five or ten miles away. So that worked out. So this yard, you know, it's it's still not perfect there. They're falling as fast as I'm cleaning them up, but, you know, I'm going to do the best I can. I did a great job for, and, I mean, this is one of my regular yards. And um, so, you know, the kind of the natural area, um, you know, I don't clean all the leaves out of that. I just do it, you know, maybe 10 feet back everywhere out of the bushes, everything, and around the house and all that. So last year I did mulch the natural area and stuff, but she didn't like that for some reason. So, you know. Weird things, you know, your customer wants this stuff, y'all know how that is, whatever, I just, you know, I do whatever they want, unless it's something that's weird or takes me forever and not good for me, so you do have to put your foot down sometimes, which is the hard part about this business, and so, hope y'all are having a great day cleaning up your leaves and doing your thing, and um, I'm trying to enjoy all of, all of what I'm doing, so I'm learning to enjoy it over time, 
and uh, me and my wife are buying a house, and uh, so that's exciting, and I'll show that at some point. It's not totally done and stuff yet, like official clothes and all that, but things are going pretty good. Just uh, cleaning up a lot of mulching up wet leaves and, you know, just doing all that stuff, and I'm going to keep moving. Um, you know, I've even still picking up new yards, so... I don't know how it's a, it's a real blessing. So, uh, you guys keep keep doing your leafs. Be encouraged. Um, there's a lot of guys like me and plenty of other guys there doing the same thing, just like you. So, um, keep doing it. Try to find someone else you can kind of talk with another landscape guy because that helps a lot. Um, just so you can share stories with or whatever. Um, I do that with my dad, and it's very beneficial to me. He's try to help me from getting burnt out and stuff like that. So, hope you guys are having a good day. Hope you're enjoying this little bit of action.